Aha. Uh -huh. I wonder if the jump scare is here in the elevator. Something falls on the page or... these tunnels. Dead end. Dark end. No clues. I'm looking through all the dead ends, even if it's obvious it's a dead end, because there might be a clue. Oh, boy. rack. One pickaxe missing. So Somewhere in the dark. Yeah. Okay. Sort of switch box or something? Watch, there's gonna be a dead body in it or something. It's Ethan! That's Ethan! Dude! Son of a weasel. second. Something down this tunnel or is it just another dead end? Dud und. These things. Oh, there's just another dead second. Okay, some sort of, uh... Oh, another one of these things. Clear the rocks. Ramming speed, bitch! Let's go! Ah, uh, yeah!
guess you need the light. Ah ha ha. Ours me pickaxe. Oh, look who it is, Daddy Dearest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Looks like... Probably first when they got here and discovered that he was in here. Um, probably two. You know what? Probably last. Or, I don't know. Let me see. One, two, three, four. All right. Honey, he probably ran. Well, why wouldn't he? Why would he be here? Shit. That was probably a raccoon. No. No, I don't think it was. He's just a kid. He didn't disturb Oh, me. it he was the mom. I thought it was Ethan. That's it! Oh, boy, is the price. I'm going up there. The sleeper must not sleep. Okay, so the dad was he also- You can't get away. It's the sleeper's time to awake. Missy, listen to yourself. No, I see clearly. The sleeper breathes inside me. You're sick. We all are. Dale, what are you doing? Okay. I got the order right on the first try. Dale, you miserable coward! Let me out! The sleeper demands to rise! The sleeper must wake up! The sleeper must wake up! The sleeper must... Bonus scene? Alright. Let's see where it takes us. Where's Mom? I thought I heard her voice. She's, um, still looking for you. Y you need to leave. Go through there. Through that water? 
It kind of looks like it's boiling. No, no, it, it's just a simple chemical reaction. It's not actually boiling. Mom! Mom! Where are you? I'll deal with your brothers. Go, now. Ah. Well, that means this part had to happen before the whole thing on the train tracks he up above, too. He didn't kill his wife. She was no longer who she once was. Neither was he. Something was using all this pain and death. Something was becoming stronger. Let's go. Check this tunnel here. I don't think we'll find anything, but no, oh, nothing. Okay. Fly beyond. Long winding stairs down. Gregorian chanting, slowly uh, drifting in. here you are here okay so there's like the only like room in here is like down the hall uh, make the right at the end of the hall forward right and double back here what the hell I guess that was it. This warning stands, walk no further. If this warning stands, our ritual failed. If this warning stands, the sea thing gate remains sealed. Okay.
I guess we'll investigate up above a little more. So we found our jump scare, eh? See if there's anything at the end of the tunnel, illuminated by the. Okay. So that. See what's in here. Ah. Yeah. The, the totally not boiling water. Was that a clue up there? No, it's just a light. I could feel two kinds of darkness here in Red Creek Valley. The first you walked into, and with any luck, walked out of. But the other darkness was deeper, stickier, uh, unknowable. And it wanted me to leave. Indeed. Oh. Thing. Oh, cool, we're down below now. Okay, that's way too loud. Okay. I guess the water isn't considered ambient. Hold on. Let me confirm. Okay, it is. What did it? Yeah, I guess we can keep it at 15. Not so bad. Not like we're going to be next to it for the whole rest of the time. All right, let's see what's in this house. It's like eight foot ceilings. Wall mounted case. Axe shaped discoloration, fire axe cabinet. Okay, axe is on the floor. In a room with a one of those carpets that you see in your grandmama's house. Destroyed from the inside or from the outside. Excessive force, desperation, or rage. Broken door. Oh, okay. What do you mean destroyed from the inside? Shit. Oh, is that the dad? Victim cornered. 
punctured throat. No other wounds, footprints in the blood, no signs of a struggle. Alright, looks like I gotta piece it together. Overturned pencil holder, okay. Scattered accessories. Taken in a rush. Pen, pencil, scissors, letter opener, ruler. Up there. Bloody pair of scissors inside of some kind of platform on one of those giant spools. Our fire axe. Ah, the lift. The broken lift. Oh, it does work. Oh, I thought it was broken. got the whole picture now. All right. Guessing one's near the door here where it got busted open. Hey. Okay. Oh, is that Travis? Okay, it looks like that was Travis. like old Travis like killed his pa where else where else where else I didn't see where the other will-o'-wisp went oh probably by the lift oh wait came out of the mine Oh, shoot. Oh, so old Daddy Dearest tried to off the sun first. But looks like the sun's reflexes were too good. Oh, wait. Oh, the lift must be on the other side. Oh, no, I guess not. Damn. Okay. Damn it. Now I gotta do it again. Oh, wait. By the door. Try this again, eh? Oh, okay, there was one. Oh, okay, I did find them all. Um, you have to assume this was last. Seems pretty... 
Self-explanatory. I don't see how you could not get this one on the first try, unless there's some aspect of it I'm just not seeing. Let's watch. Where's my mother? Why are you standing in the sleeper's way? She had an accident. Travis, put down the axe. Why you swing an sideways? I, I didn't want her to get hurt. We're all... So sick, you know, since Ethan found that room. Where's Ethan, goddammit? Talk to me! Okay, okay! Just, he wants to burn Vandegrift's room. Look, Travis, just... Just, just leave me alone! Oh, God. Oh, God! The sleeper chooses vessels. You know that? To enact his wishes, he chose Mom. He chose me. Son, I don't want to hurt you. You think scissors are going to save you? Yes. I had a feeling that's what happened. It didn't have to be this way. You could have helped the sleeper. Helped us. But Mom's right. You're a coward, and you'll be meeting Ethan again soon. Seems like I've been doing the events in reverse order, because all this had to happen before the stuff on the train tracks happened. I don't want to lose track of it. Oh, wow. Okay, so into that other building. Makes sense. You disturbed it, not me. Travis, we can get rid of it. I know exactly what we're up against. Don't listen to what's in your head. Yeah. This sleeper was feeding on them. Their hate, their distrust. Ethan's father figured suicide wouldn't feed it, but it did. I could feel it sitting somewhere out there. That is a bullfrog digesting. True. Well, in some respects, they say suicide is hatred turned inward. At least some people say that. to find. Uh, Shadonkey. Let's, uh... How m I wonder how many more of these vignettes I'm going to have to recreate in order to solve the mystery. I mean, I pretty much got the gist of it. Ethan disturbed what was in that house. Awakened that monster. Started in... The, you know, it started... Uh, you know, worming its way into people's minds. I guess it, the reason it didn't affect Ethan, or at least not as much, is because, you know, he's like an innocent child. Not, as, not filled with as much hatred and jaded by the world and 
you know, he hadn't become cynical like adults and stuff like that. So, not as much nutrition for the sleeper there. All right, uh... Wait, why'd the door close? Am I about to get jumped? I was gonna say, because I didn't close the door behind me. I guess the move now is to take the, the lift back up to the top. I don't think there's anything else to find down here. Let's run to the opposite end of here and see if there's any kind of... No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, let's take the lift back to the top side. when you take the lift up from the bottom level to the top if it triggers something I bet it does Love how direct the game is. Direct in what in what way? Kind of missed the good old point A to B. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, it's funny though. They said this game doesn't hold your hand, but. And while I would not describe it as hand-holding, uh, you know, it definitely doesn't feel like it's made to be overly complicated. Now I'm stuck wondering where the hell to go next. I mean, the only other place I could think to go is back to the mine. But it said, go no further. Which, I'm not sure if you're supposed to heed that, or... As far as I can tell, there is no journal. There's there's no HUD of any kind. Except when you're reading something, or inspecting something. Yeah, I've just tried all the buttons. <clears throat> the only other button besides WASD that does anything is... Uh, shift, which runs, and then Control, which crouches slightly. So, it seems like everything went in reverse order. Well, not, well, semi-reverse. It looked like that we had the, had the thing in the graveyard. Occur when, which came first, this or... Eat it? Uh, I don't know. I've never played What Remains of Edith Finch. I just watched it. <coughs> Excuse me.
Oh, that's... Oh, they're not even the same uh, developer. Which, if you hadn't told me they were different developers, I would never have known. Oh, but the question was, which came first? Uh, Vanishing of Ethan Carter, September 25th, 2014. Edith Finch, April 24th, 2017. So, uh, about two and a half years later. Oh. Astronauts, okay. They developed and published it. Okay. All right, so first there was the issue in the graveyard where Ethan's parents were searching for him. And then... Ethan's father ran off. Travis, uh, they killed the... They killed Chad, Uncle Chad, because he was trying to bury him alive. They ran They ran to the mines. Uh, Dale killed his wife, because he was trying to save his son. Uh, I don't know how the creepy lantern man down in the bottom of the mine that threw me out fits into all of it. Uh... They came out of the mine. We still don't know where Ethan is at this point. We assume he... He said he had to get into the mine. So... Uh... So Dale left the mine, was waiting for his son Travis, I guess, with an axe to try to kill him. Uh, he screwed up, because... And then, ultimately to avoid, I guess, being killed by his son, he killed himself. Then Travis... Dale told Travis what Ethan was trying to do. Oh yeah, that's right. Ethan was in the... Ethan was inside the power station. That's right. That building over there. And Ethan was trying to convince Travis to help him. But then they ended up on the train tracks instead, where Travis was going to kill him by running him over with the rail car. Well, I don't know if he was going to kill him, or just try to leave him there. It, I, it seems like he was going to run him over with the rail car, but... I, oh. I don't know. I guess the only thing I can think to do now is go back to the mine. But there has to be a reason to use the lift, right? Maybe I'm overthinking it. I mean, it, on how long to beat, they said a completionist run was about four hours, so. And I'm not a completionist. Most of the time. I did get all the achievements on Skyrim. Back on good old Xbox 360. But I, I wonder if you can go back in the mine once you've, uh exited the mine down this way. That'd be something if they didn't let you go back in. They let you come out, but not back in. So let's see. Let's just try. And we'll go back down there, and if we try- if we get jump scared again by the weirdo with the lantern, then... We get jump scared again by the weirdo with the lantern. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Now, going this way means we're going to have to wade through that pool full of boiling uh, water again, but... We want to have any shot of putting this together then we're gonna to have to is there a special reason they had to slow you down for this 
Like, yeah, I get it. We're in the water, but there's no special reason why it needs to be slower. At least not as far as I can tell. I guess suspense. I can't think of any other reason. Or is it supposed to be a skill avoider where you can't touch the... No, that's fine. If anything, it was like the opposite of lazy. They put more than they needed for no good reason. Where's that tunnel at? Look again. Come to Gregorian chanting. Creepy piano music or organ or whatever you want to call it. Same warning as before. This warning stands, the sea thing gate remains sealed. All right, so let's walk all the way to the... if old McDonald comes out and finds us when we're running around or if he always appears in that same spot. Like a dead body. Is it taking me back to where the dude threw me out? It looks like it is. Alright, this might end badly. Let's, uh... I guess I gotta find all the clues without triggering old McDonald. Now let's see if I gotta find that guy again or if, uh, remain the same. Nope, still there. I wonder if there's like a puzzle aspect to it. Or if you hear the first sound of him coming out, turn around, make him chase you or something.
and another one. Yeah, we know where you're going. I ain't falling for that a second time. Another map. You're here. Okay. This is the one I want. Shit. So he moves around. Super. He's not dead, but eternal lie. The god of strange aeons cannot die. We open the gate, the gate of old. Its guardian eyes have long grown cold. The name of our god, our truth, our key. He is that which, which should not be. Pretty good. Thoughts on the game so far? Pretty good. Alright, looks like I got a... I probably haven't found all the corpses I need to yet, but sense. Oh, maybe that is all I need. Okay, so what am I supposed? Pizza's here. Uh oh. I guess I was supposed to. Alright, let's try doing all the same at first. see let's see uh okay so stars is on that weird trumpet symbol okay okay so looks like there's probably six of these guys and each of them uh Each of them corresponds to one of the symbols.
All right, with four of them, I'm pretty sure I can guess the last two. All right. So, triangles is that weird swoopy thing. That thing? No. That thing. And next is... Square? Square is like a Z. Okay. Circles is unknown. Diamond is the weird reshaped thing. Oh, is it that? No. That. And then triangle, also on. Oh no, triangle is. Wait. Oh, there's two triangles. Or is it two different triangles? Oh, it might be two different triangles. Upward facing and downward facing. Okay, so downward facing triangle, we don't know. Circle, we don't know. Upward facing triangle is the weird swoosh thing. Yeah, that. Diamond is the weird thingy with it looks like a three. Star is the weird trumpet looking thingamajiggy. So we don't know circle and we don't know downward facing triangle. So They'll just do process of elimination. Unless the game is going to force you to get all of them. Some games will lock you out like that. There we go. Uh-oh. There's a giant tentacle. Uh, okay, so... I'm underwater now. Release the Kraken! Seems as though I'm stuck. Oh, something to read. Curse of the Sea Thing. Read the text. The Enochian Necronomicon. The iron ore miners had finally found it, but not all of them wanted to perform its ritual and disturb summon the sea thing, Gnaia. The miner realized the ritual would unleash Gnaia's flood upon this world, and so the miner had no choice but to stab the others with blades, shards of magic, elk down. Gnaia, in response, cursed the miner. 
who now wanders the mine, doomed to prevent others from summoning the sea thing and flooding the world forever. Very interesting. Ethan, I told you to stay out. God damn it. Look, it's dangerous in here. I'll read your story later. Okay? And, um, please don't tell your mother I'm in here. All right? Okay. Now, you go. Get back home. Okay. It was the same. Okay. United States Patent and Trademark Office. Request for clarification. Dear Mr. Carter, the United States Patent and Trademark Office has received your January 27th, 1973 letter requesting further explanation as to why you recently submitted patent 527F2D was rejected by this office. As we explained in our previous letter, the patent was rejected for infringing upon a previously existing patent. We have on record from you more than four dozen requested patents submitted from the, in the last 16 months. None has been successful and all have been met with challenges by you. Mr. Carter, we would like to consider this matter and future matters administratively closed. What an ass. So I guess Dale was trying to like patent uh something? Dale, get your shit out of the basement. Bring it to the goddamn pump dump. I'm so sick of stepping over your lifetime of failure on my way to the washing machine. I'm not kidding. Either you move it or I burn it. M. Yes, that's his wife. Now we don't need to be down there anymore. But we're still no closer really to solving this mystery unless I'm not gleaning something from that that I should have. So Dale was trying to get some invention or something off the ground. But couldn't because apparently it was too similar to something else that was already patented. So now I guess, what, are we supposed to go back to their house and look in the basement? At what Dale was trying to do? Alright, back on the surface, I guess we're going to take the, <coughs> so I guess technically speaking I could have done that part before I did this part, so... see did I fully explore this place Are there any other doors I can go into I didn't really look there's only like a small amount of okay looks like a looks like a water treatment plant or something Maybe a hydroelectric station or something? I'm not sure. Am 
All blood stain, maybe? Oil storage. Hmm. No smoking. Yeah, all that the all this building and there's like this is like the only section you actually like explore or investigate. Very odd, but it's okay. The only clue that we have to go forward on now is to go back to the Carter's house and look inside their basement, if if indeed we can even find it. So. What kind of pizza did you get, uh, Pyro? means answer at your leisure you're probably biting into a pop piping hot slice right now okay so that's the house of the weird wizard I guess and this was the actual Carter's house let's see if uh, there's a way to get into their basement That's the entrance to the house. Oh, wait. Oh, the alternate. Oh, it's the whole family. Can't remember the wife's name, but that's Ethan, Grandpa, Travis, the mom, the dad, and Uncle Chad. The day the photo was taken, Uncle Chad was mean, Dad was sad, Mom was mad, Travis was loud, Grandpa was quiet. There the first time? Go doors or something to go down into the. No, I guess not. I don't know where else to go. Uh. Be perfectly honest with you. Because the wife was being, uh, very adamant about. Not wanting all that stuff in the basement. But I can't find a basement to speak of in this house. Only an attic. thing about the basement was supposed to be like a red herring or something but no no guess not yeah, 
And maybe this was supposed to go down to the basement. I don't know. I really don't know where to go. So, we did the ritual. The ritual that was supposed to... I don't know. Maybe we go back to the weird old man's house. That's where this whole thing started. When Ethan uh, explored the house, found that guy's room. Have a look, see. Up, oh, we've got a little save thing. Yep. I saw the little save thing go, so I think we're in the right place. Okay, we're back in the potion room again. Okay. We read that earlier. And this was the newspaper article. One about the moonshine and the satellite. Hmm. Okay. See if it does that before you go into any of the buildings? Let me see. No. this is supposed to be a clue it's like it's like an endless hallway huh I got nothing. I got nothing. Only other thing I could think is to like maybe push the boundaries of the map. See, the last place we know Ethan was was on the train tracks when he was running away. Grandpa saved him, but then even his grandpa was like starting to succumb to the effects of the sleeper, and Ethan ran away from him. And that's the last place that we know where he was. Okay, we know about these. Uh-huh. Where would Ethan have gone after the line? Or after the train tracks?
finished in the mine and it's completely closed off. We technically did the ritual that awakened the... giant uh, octopus thing and flooded the whole area, but clearly that was like a... green flashback alternate dimension alternate timeline thing because obviously the place hasn't been flooded and there is no giant octopus thing around so The whole village has lead poisoning. I know, right? Gotta be something in the water, right? Yeah, this whole game is probably like a metaphor. Ethan was probably just writing stories to explain, like, people's altered mental state from something that was, like, in the water. Because, like, the guy with the potion that could see the future was just moonshine. Yeah. Yeah, the Flint water crisis all over again. know if this is where I'm supposed to go but based on all the events that we've pieced together this was the last place Ethan, Ethan was is when he ran away from his grandfather after his grandfather saved him from getting uh, murdered by his brother here it's funny that like the first thing that you could figure out was technically the last thing that happened at least so far right here was when they were talking and then Ethan ran away that way We already figured out what happened with him. So... Let's see how far back we can run in these woods. We're going to hug the edge of however far back we can walk and see if we stumble upon anything else. What was that? Aha, what's this? Astronaut ran away. 
the hell is this about? Where'd he go? Up here? Bruh. Why is there an astronaut leading me on a chase? supposed to be like a, a self-aware easter egg because it's developed and published by astronauts the astronauts is the name of the fuck now where'd he fucking go Oh, shit! So we went from... We went from weird, supernatural octopus thing to science fiction-ass. Oh, wow. Okay. Hole. All just a metaphor. Metaphor for a mushroom trip. Very well could be. Alright, a lot of other pods just drifting in the void of space. Is there like one thing in particular I'm supposed to be looking at? Or four? It is gorgeous, yeah. Definitely. Extraterrestrial Containment Capsule number 86911. So, I got kidnapped by aliens. Oh, oh okay, here we are. <clears throat> One out of two. Fangs. The beast had fangs, but was heavy and slow. So when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out, like the others before it. When it did not, the beast rose up on its legs and went to the place where the fire was still burning. As the orange light died, another took its place. This one was blue, a bright and pure blue that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs, and the light vanished. A moment later, the light appeared again between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but could not ignore the light, so it chased it deeper into the forest. When the light stopped, it did so in a clearing of trees. The beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned toward the beast, pointing at it like needles. But the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised into the air and closed around the beast like walls. As the ground disappeared, the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. Talk about something couched in allegory. Good grief. Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, stories, always with the stories. Get out! I read the fangs one. I liked uh, the beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. Okay, Pyro. Have a good night, my friend. Okay, so that was a... Oh, wow, really? I'm guessing that red pen was left by his brother. 
Okay, America's Finest Science Fiction, January 1964, featuring Yellow Hills of Mars by Douglas Spaulding. Thanks, Pyro. I appreciate it. Yeah, I uh, wasn't sure about this one at first, but I'm glad I played it. Let's try to finish it. Yeah, Travis's defacement. Yeah. Okay. Now what? Obviously that's... That's all that was. I don't even know... I don't even know how that connects to the main mystery here. We know that Ethan had a propensity for writing stories. And he wrote to this paranormal investigator talking about things that the investigator felt that he didn't need to know about as a child. So he came here. And yeah, I'm really thinking Pyro was on the money here. That This whole thing is just one big misunderstanding and people got sick in the head from like some kind of airborne fungus or lead poisoning or some crazy shit. The only hole in like those kind of theories is why wasn't Ethan affected? But maybe it's because he spent so much time out in the woods alone writing stories and wasn't at the places where the infection was as commonly. Okay. End of the line. Okay, well, it doesn't seem like there's anything else on this side of the river. There's only one other place I think we might need to go. Because when we found the mine, there was another path going past it. But I stopped because the mine was what we were looking for at the time. So we'll see how much further that path goes. through the tunnel 
and not too far along here was a fork that went back up that wound around back towards where the church was or is no that's that makes me wonder too where was the priest was grandpa supposed to be the priest because there's like this whole church with a big graveyard but no priest and as far as I can find no dead body of a priest okay, here we are okay that was the real entrance to the mine And that was the tunnel to get into the mine. Okay, maybe I was wrong. There was no path past it. Plus we have to go off the beaten path to go forward. Which wouldn't be the first time. Uh, no, doesn't look like there's anything down there. do is go back up around this road, I don't think. Probably joins back with the other one, which is fine. I just want to confirm it. Okay, and that comes up from the other part of the road. Okay, yeah, looks like it winds all the way back around here to the... Dang, where the hell do I go from here? I'm no closer to solving this mystery. I know a lot of things that happened, but... The why of it eludes me. And I have a strong suspicion that Ethan is still alive, but hiding. And we know by this point, every single member of his family is dead, except for his grandpa. We, we don't know if his grandpa is alive or dead yet. Last we saw, he was still trying to fight off the effects of the sleeper. Whatever they may be. Okay. Right, yeah, we went, we came through here before, but couldn't get to the top because the stairs are busted. I kind of wish there was a way to get up there, but probably just there for flavor. Mm. Okay, and we've seen this we've seen this movie before. Uh, I don't know where to go. I really don't. There's nowhere else to go in the mine, from what I can remember. That long winding road 
Goes back around to where the mine is. All we've been able to confirm is that Ethan wandered into this guy's house. and found his illegal moonshine operation. Which he characterized in a story as potions that would let people see the future. So I'm guessing once discovered, uh, the other people here in the town demanded that uh, they get cut in on the moonshine deal. And the man said no, so they burned his house down. Yeah, we did the save thing again. And the house burned through except for the room that had the still in it, I guess. Even then, I mean, it looks like, I mean, it definitely looks like fire got in here. At least a bit. But who knows? Fire would usually cause the bottles to pop. Because, hmm. Unable to determine who owns the still. Lost cigarette at the scene likely caused the fire. Hmm. Maybe nobody... Maybe nobody in the town burnt down the house. Maybe that's just how uh, Ethan characterized it in his story. Maybe the old Shiner was uh, smoking a cigarette and uh, was irresponsible about it. And lit his own house on fire. I have no idea. I have no idea. But I'm no closer to uncovering the mystery. But what we do know is that for whatever reason, uh, after this guy's house uh, burned down, or not long after Ethan discovered this place, everybody in town went nuts. And started... Everyone thought that Ethan was the cause of... Whatever the problem was, and started believing that the only way to solve it was to... Kill Ethan. Or give him over to the sleeper. For some reason. I mean, I feel like I'm this close. I just don't know where to go next to find the next set of clues. Ugh. Only other thing I can think is go back down here. Not here. This is all I got. Because technically speaking, I could have done the bit with the astronaut first, but uh, before all this, I could have done the bit in the mine before I got to this section. So I feel like whatever is left to find I is somewhere adjacent to here.
Because this is where we ended up uh, after the whole thing with the mine. Then the game sent us after that whole thing where the dad killed himself in that building. Showed us a scene, a brief scene with uh, Ethan and Travis inside that uh, that power station. And it showed Travis and uh, Ethan talking in here, with Ethan trying to convince Travis to help him. But we know how that ended. Oh, okay. What does that do for us? I have no idea what that was for. Does it, like, lower the water level, or...? Uh... Bleh, bleh, bleh. I got nothing! Way to climb up here, walk up here, remember, remember. No. Hey. What was the point in turning off one of the generators? Okay. What's the purpose? No idea. Hmm. Oh, does it allow you to walk? Okay, here we go. That's what it did. It lowered the water level enough for us to walk across that bit. Now we're on track. Let's get resituated here. Wah! So 
we then hightailed it across the river. I guess. And I guess this happened before the train tracks. Since we know that the last thing happened was the train tracks. Ethan was close. I could feel him. A pinprick of light in the darkness. He would know me. He would know why I'd come. I'm guessing the whole bit with the, uh... He came here after the train tracks, I guess. Hey, big old burned down building. Okay. Looks fairly recent. They're still smoldering. Then okay. fight it. I have to destroy the room. Corvus. I'm sorry. Ethan, I can't let you do that. Eh. Oh, okay, so... Damn. How are you supposed to tell what these are supposed to be? Alright, or am I supposed to spell the name Corvus? V here. R. O. Corvus. What door? Eh. I didn't see. Uh, oh. Oh dear. I didn't even try to, like, escape. He must have died in that position before he burned. Because you, you don't burn to death peacefully. Will-O-Wisps. Okay. Then Corvus. Then Corvus. Then Corvus. Let's see. I guess first they all came in here together then Ethan was trying to turn the table and they were trying to open the thing and then he burned to death I guess let's see Ethan I fought it off it's okay grandpa get away from me 
Your grandmother, Gail, is protecting me from it. Ethan, I can help you. Okay. I found Vandergris' diary. He said for the sleeper to wake up, someone has to suffer. Look! Oh my! When I found that room, I didn't wake him up. He's trying to wake up now. Vandergriff kept his victims alive. He made them suffer. That's what the sleeper wants. We need to get in that room. I can squeeze through. It has to be this way. The sleeper must not wake. Burning the room won't matter, Ethan. The sleeper's inside us now. Grandpa! Get back! We all have to die. Even you. Even me. Well then. So I wonder what makes it so that you can't feel pain. So now we have to find a way to get into that room. Oh, it opened the door for us. Are you... are you really here? I'm sorry, Ethan. I was late. Too late. You're right. You were too late. Here. Again. I knew this story. And it was Ethan's as much as it was mine. And it wasn't finished. Not yet. Okay, the bridge, the dam, the church, this place, quarries, question mark, space capsule, uh-huh, house of portals, mm -hmm. the witch forest, Oh. So I can just immediately go to... So wait a minute, what's this about? Ah! Okay. There's some sort of trap on the train tracks. Oh, this is where I first came. Okay. Yeah, this is when I first came here. Oh, okay. Was it supposed to be back here? Son of a bitch. 
was this supposed to be? A, a springboard with spikes? Crap. Hold. Is that a bunch of skulls? And bones? What was the point of that? I can't believe I got jump scared by a basic trap. Lord have mercy on me. <sighs> I get what I'm supposed to be doing here. Look at this nonsense. We have two other places to visit. Okay, but it's still saying question marks, question marks. I mean, it looks like it's the only one that I still have to... So the Witch Forest was a side thing. House of Portals was a side thing. I guess. Ancient God, I... Yes, that was an optional thing from the mine. Space Castle was optional. So this is the last one. This is the only one that doesn't have a red X on it that I haven't gone through. So, I don't... I don't... Should I try to go up and around it? Alright. I'll look at it again and see if there's a way up and around it to jump on it to see if I can reset it that way or something. <sighs> Why is it shaped like this, though? This doesn't make any sense. Fucking shit! having a good time right now. So I guess I have to trigger a bunch of traps. Can I leave? The light at the end of the tunnel? I wonder if this is going to be some, like, Stanley Parable shit. Watch, there's going to be a jump scare at the end. Watch, some stupid shit. Huh? Oh, it just... It brought us right back out the other end. Bowser's staircase in Mario 64 when you don't have enough stars. I think you need, what, 80 stars to get his stairway to open up properly? I'll have to, like, walk around and find a bunch of traps and intentionally trigger them. Ugh. <sighs> I hate this part. Question is, who put all these traps up? Is it Ethan? It's resourceful. You know that much.
Maybe there's supposed to be more traps on the other side. Let's see, we got like the swinging trap. We got the spring trap. Maybe a hidden pit. Let's find a hidden pit. There we go. Damn, hidden pit with spinning... Sp Damn, all violent... Okay, so it's going to reveal something. Goodness. Man, I totally called that shit. A concealed pit. But I didn't anticipate the spinning spike trap. That's... And your run-of-the-mill bear trap. Getting closer. Weasels. Alright, show us what we need to see. There's a big field full of dead bodies somewhere. Oh, and it just transported us there. It, oh, isn't that just... Sap by Ethan Carter. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. The villagers believed this old man had hidden had hidden a jade amulet in the forest, but the old man wanted the villagers to believe this, because then they would search the forest for treasure and not drink his sap. One cool fall night, someone set fire to the forest, and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. When he returned to the village, he found all the villagers' bones. The old man sat down and cried. Then he found more sap to drink. Ethan, I told you, you can't be here. But, Gramp, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll read it later. See if there's anything... Oh, okay. Very, uh... Oh, okay. One dead in house fire. Fire damaged the historic home in Red Creek Valley Wednesday morning, according to officials from Bayfield County Fire Department. A family of six was asleep when the blaze broke out at the remote uh, house, once owned by Albert Vandergriff by the Ogden Lake in Red Creek Valley. Gail Carter, 58, was pronounced dead at the scene. Remaining family members were able to escape. Carter's husband, Edwin 62, told investigators he may have fallen asleep with a lit cigarette in his hand. Firefighters were dispatched to the scene. Okay, remain at the scene. Wednesday, it's just... Okay. Oh, wait. What was on the other side? After heated public hearing, no answers for Vandergriff errors. Okay. Died in a mining accident. Okay. Interesting. All right. Assuming now that means we have all the stories, all the side stories done, and now Christ, Ethan, you're in here again? You missed dinner. 
Mom and Dad are pissed. They've been looking all over the place. Get out of here, Travis. Leave me alone. <laughs> hey, Ma! He's in here! I guess that was Ethan's chalk drawing. Honey, be careful with that lamp. Damn, what the hell's wrong with your kid? Painting on walls, writing his stories. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Ethan! For God's sake, you missed dinner! I'm sorry, I've been working on a story all day. How long have I been out here? The Adventures of Paul Prospero, Supernatural Detective. Where do you get this stuff? Pop, would you get Travis out of here, please? He draws pictures on walls. What the hell is that? Chad, shut up. You got yourself a faggot for a son, Dale. Oh. Travis, let's go. Come on. Faggot! Personal Ethan, foul. Fucking faggot. Travis, Oh, another personal oh, foul. Shit. Oh, shit. shit. Everyone, go! Get out! Ethan. Get out! There's the smoke, it's toxic! Oh Jesus! Oh God. God! What do we do? What do we do? We can't stay here! Oh donkeys! <coughs> I don't know man, I'd have been trying to stuff something on the edge of that door to see if I couldn't make the... keep the smoke out, at least for a little while. I wrote about you, but I don't know if I created you. You made me real. I can't go yet. I have to finish my story about you. I wrote stories about everyone. I know you did, but my story's done, and it's a fine story. I can let go? You can let go. What happens then? Another story, kid. What else? Okay, so they tried to save him. Okay. I guess that's supposed to be the old Vandergriff house that burnt down. <laughs> 